Hey, welcome back. So we continue with our sign up situation here. Now, if I refresh the page, the sign up page, I get uh, these errors here. So let me try and fix these errors. It says uh, undefined key email on line 37 uh, in user.php. Now, because I haven't submitted yet, this is probably why it's telling me undefined uh, key here. So let me go to the sign up class. This is the sign up controller. And this should only be done when we make a submission. So once we submit, so let me put this in here. The validation process should only occur when we post something. So let's put an if statement to to check if something was posted. So we use the server um, request method. That's it. Request method like that. And we check if this request method is equal to post like that. All right. And so I want to put this between the, uh, the if statement. So I'll do that like so. Okay, great. All right. So if this request method is equal to post, then we do this. So this time it means if I just simply refresh the page, I shouldn't get any of these uh, errors. Okay. So that's, that's great. And now we try to uh, create and then we see that email already exists. So things are validating, but let's finish up with adding error messages to everything here. So now we go to the sign up view down here. Okay. So that's the sign up view. Now, while we are here, we can also change this to, to leave the correct one. Here, let's add the uh, app name and close that. Okay, so that at least we have a good title there. You can call it sign up. Uh, that's fine. And then let's go down to where the error messages are supposed to be. So this is the one, only one that uh, works, the email one. So I'm going to copy uh, this one and then add it to all of these. Now this, this section here shows you the, the error message that you get through JavaScript. So it's better to have redundancy. So let's leave that there as well. It's okay. So that in case the, the JavaScript fails, then we use the PHP error messaging. So uh, both are fine to be there for now. So let's add the right key there, first name, and then here, same thing, uh, last name. Okay. You can hold down control to select multiple places so you can type faster. And then for the password, I think, uh, let's see, please enter, please retype. This one should be, please retype your password. Uh, let's put the password thingy only on the last password here. We can send all password related errors to just the password key. Okay. And then agree this one. You must agree before submitting. That's fine as well. Let's put an error there as well. Uh, yes. So this one is terms. Yes. Terms like that. Great. So let's see what's going on now. So if I try to create this time, you see a first name is required, last name. And of course you can add this red uh, box as well on all the error message uh, things here. So we can copy that from the email and we added it here on the class names. So we're adding a new class if there's an error. So we copy this whole part here, copy. Let's go to this one, that's last name, paste, and we just change that key to last name. And then we do the same thing on first name here as well. So first name, there we go. Let's put on all of these uh, password. We can put, um, 
wait, 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 wait. Anyway, it's up to you which one of these you want to put. Whatever makes more sense. Uh, let's put password there. Uh, yeah, sure. That should do. Okay, we can't put anything red on the form checked, but maybe you can if you you put it on the div itself. Uh, that's entirely up to you if you want to do that. Okay, so let's try again. And we get these red boxes this time to show uh, which places need attention. Okay, great. All right, so with that in mind, let's... Um, Let's submit and see what happens when we submit correct information. So email at email.com is, uh, let's see here. Let's go back to our PHP my admin. Let's go back to the table. I'm going to my users table here and I want to remove everything from here. So I'll go to operations and then truncate the table so that it doesn't tell me uh, the email I already exists. So, Let's add a genuine user here, let's say Mary Jane, email, uh, let's put password here, password, and then another password there, and let's agree to the terms. So here we've added all the required information, which means it should work, but let's do a redirect, let's finish up here so that it does the right thing once we are done. So I'm going to go to functions here. And in functions, I want to create a redirect function there. So I'm going to say function redirect. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because redirecting code is not just one line. It's something like this. We do a header and then we write location like this, full colon, and then we specify the link to where we are going. Now, in our case, every link requires root so that uh, it's not a relative path, but a full path. And so I can pass in the name of the link I'm going to. So I can say that, or I can say page. I can name this uh, anything I want. So let me connect that to that, like so. So we're going to connect to root slash and then whatever link we give here that we want to go to. And then we have to tell the script to die so that it stops executing because it's very possible to set your browser to avoid redirecting. And then if it does that, then the page is going to load because whether the headers say redirect, it won't be respected. So it's better if the page fails to redirect, it just dies, the script does not continue. So putting functions for things like this is good because later you may want to change how things are redirected and instead of going to every single page where you type this code, you just come here to the function and change one place which changes the entire system. So let's copy this redirect uh, thing. So if things go well, we redirect there and where are we redirecting to? Let's redirect the user to the login page. Okay, that's great. Now, before we do that, I would rather we send a message to, uh, actually, maybe this is not the appropriate place. We will add uh, pop-up messages to show that uh, things went well or not. Maybe let's do that, why not? So we're going to have a message We'll create a message function like this, and then we can put in a message. So your profile was successfully created like that. So that's a message we're going to send to the user. So let's make this function work as well. So I'm going to copy this, uh, go to functions. Let's go to um, function message, right? And then here we will have some kind of message. Okay, great. So we want a way for us to check if a message exists. So if uh, this, I'm going to set this to an empty string so that it's optional. Okay, so we'll have to check first of all, if there is a message. So if not empty message, 
right? If somebody has sent a message in the while calling the function, then what we do is we return the message. So let's return, no, 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 sorry, my bad. We save the message. So what we would do is we'll create a value in the session uh, like this because session values are permanent throughout the session. So regardless what page you open, that information stays intact. So what we will do is we're going to say, we'll create a memory location in session called message, and then we'll set it to whatever message we were given. So in this case, this is what will happen here. When we call this function and we have supplied a message, that message will be saved because once we re refresh the page, it should still be there. So that's why we're doing it like this. So we save that message. So as long as there's a message sent, we save it. But if there isn't a message that was sent, it means we are trying to retrieve that message now. So I'm just going to tell it to return a message, if any. Uh, so I'm going to check. Oh, wait, if... Um, Yes, I have to check if it's not empty because otherwise I'll return an empty thing. So I'll say if not empty message message, then return the same message like that. Okay, so if it's not empty, return the message. But if, um, let's see here. If it's empty though, uh, what do we return? We're going to return nothing. So I'll leave it at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, great. So here we return uh, false at the end. If none of this works, we return false. So let's see if, um, but we need a way to check if there's a message and then we return the message because we don't want to show the message pop up if there's no message at all. So we need to check. So first of all, if we don't uh, supply a message, it means we want to check if a message exists, okay? So if it does, we're going to return, oh uh, wait, if we don't supply that, uh, this is where we go here, and then we check if it's not empty, and then we return the message, yes. But once we return the message, we have to clean everything up, right? So uh, we have to unset the message because if we don't unset this message, it will keep popping up every time. So we just, this is a show once message. And then once you show it, you unset it, okay? But again, there are times when we just want to check if there's a message. We don't want to once we return and then uh, delete it. So what I mean is this, let's say this is on the view, right? I will create something like this. I'll put an if statement. This is actual code we're going to use. I'll say if message like that, okay? And then I'll put an end if here, end if, like so. Okay, so I'm checking if there's going to be a message here. So as long as it returns a value, it means there's a message. But the way we've set it up right now, just by asking if there's a message, it will return the message, but then it will unset this uh, thing here. Also, the problem here is a return simply exits the function. So we will never get to this point. So we have to be clever about this. We have to do it this way. Um, we have to set, uh, let's say we we'll use the same uh, variable message because uh, regardless what's here now, we are exiting, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to copy, whether we override it here, uh, doesn't matter. So we're going to set message is equal to whatever message there is and then unset it then we return message here because we've unset it here so it doesn't exist here anymore then return 
So the reason I've done uh, this is because previously we were saying return before we unset and return means exit the function so that unset would never would never actually work. So here we are setting it to a variable, then unset it and then return that variable. Now the problem is right now if I want, to, first of all I check for the message and then, only then, do I uh, put a div like this and then return, I echo out uh, the message like this. Let's say message, blah, 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 like that. So whatever I return here will be echoed in here. But the problem is we checked first if there's a message, right? That process of doing that will unset the message. So we need another uh, value here where we call it, uh, what can we call it? Uh, maybe erase, I don't know. Or we can call it just checking, I don't know. Erase is equal to false. So let's set it to false as a default value. So erase, it should be like that, yes. So, so that we ask the question, if erase, then we unset. Let me push that in like so. Okay. So if erase is equal to true, then only then do we erase the message. Right? Yeah. Otherwise, normally it's false, which means when we, we are just checking to see if there's a message. So hopefully that makes sense and we can test it. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll get this message. So for that uh, erase to happen here, I have to send two. One, I send an empty uh, message, and then here I say true, like this. So what I'm simply doing is I'm saying the message should be empty so that we don't go here. Instead, we go here, and then erase should be true so that we can unset the message once we view it, because now we are viewing it. Here we're just checking to see if it exists. Here we are viewing it. So what I'll do is I'm going to put some classes here for Bootstrap and I'll say alert, alert danger, and then uh, text center to center that text. So that's it. I'm going to cut this because it doesn't belong here. And uh, I want to sh put this on my login page which is this one here, yes, login. So after, I'm not really sure where to put this, but let's just put it anywhere so that we see it for now, and then we can move it later. So I'm going to move that, because we will redirect to the login page. So I want to see if we'll see a message on the login page when that happens. So we save the message, we redirect, and uh, watch things happen okay so so far so good looks like we're going to manage to do all that and let's test it all right so here we have good information in the database the database is empty okay so let's try and create an account so um create of course Okay, good. And there we go. Your profile was successfully created. We got the message. Very nice. So now, please now, please log in. So maybe we should have added that. Please log in like that. Okay, good. So that at least we know uh, the message that's going on there. That's great. So since we have all that, uh, this is good. We can repeat the process for the login process. Uh, thing here and get a login in place. All right, so let's do that in the next video.